Hello everyone, it is the middle of May. I'm going to go over the indoor hydroponic and outdoor gardening update here real quick. And I'm going to show you what's going on here, my indoor hydroponic system. Uh, if you can see, uh, the jalapenos are still growing like out of control here. Actually, if you look at this jalapeno in the back here, it's grown past the light and up and up and up and up. It's ridiculous. It's so tall. Uh, I've never seen jalapeno grow like this before. But um, anyway, the jalapenos have been really successful. We found some sweet peppers or mild peppers that we liked from the store and we bought some of those and we grew them. That's what these are here. And they are producing peppers that look like this. These peppers are like red and yellow in the stores so I think they just let them get ripe but these are uh, very large compared to what we've been getting in the store so uh, I'm also a little worried about cross-contamination or pollination from the jalapenos so they may end up being spicy I don't know I I hope not but uh, we'll find out what's going on but I've just got such a dense mass even over there the jalapenos and the flowers there's just too many to hand pollinate now, so I've just kind of started blowing air on them, seeing if they'll pollinate. I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to have the indoor system running, since I've got so much happening outside now. Down here we've got our little light and our seedlings. Um, we've got all kinds of stuff growing here. But uh, I'm ready to move them outside. It's starting to get nice and warm. So anyway, uh, the jalapenos have been a huge success this year for sure. And, um, you know, we've had jalapeno poppers with them, and they've been super spicy, but uh, really good. So, everything's growing pretty well in here. This is an avocado plant, or two of them. So, that's all I wanted to show you in here, just a quick video of the monster jalapeno that's taking over my basement. So, let's go outside and take a look. Okay, we're outside now. And over here we have a small little 8x8 garden that we planted some stuff in. Uh, it's just kind of recently planted, so not much to really look at here. We do have some sad-looking radishes growing here. Um, not much excitement there. We do have artichokes. I'm not sure if they're going to make it or not. We started them from seed indoors. If these die, we'll just plant some seeds out here. We have the cage to try to keep the rabbit out. We've got some wild rabbits that uh, hop around our backyard a lot. And uh, so anyway, nothing real exciting here. Let's go look in the greenhouse with the vertical hydroponics. I've got lots of excitement happening in there. Okay. So, the first thing you'll notice is we have a little path in here now. We've turned on the sprinkler system, so when it starts spraying everywhere, we'll be able to walk and not get as much mud all over our feet. Our little peach bushes are starting to grow. We've got some pots here with just some little flowers in them. And over here, we've got, let me use my finger, these are broccolis. Right there's a broccoli. And that's blueberry. We've got blueberries mixed in. That's some lettuce. And I did a interesting experiment. I started some lettuce seed down here. Then I put some lettuce in the vertical hydroponic system at the same time to do a comparison. And I'll show you what's what happened with that. But uh, anyway, that's what we got growing here. We've got our indoor tomato plants that you probably saw in other videos. We've moved them out here. These two guys are growing pretty good. But these, it's a different variety of heirloom. These three don't look quite as happy out here. I'm hoping they'll recover, but if not, I've got other tomatoes I'm going to throw in there. But let's take a quick look at the lettuce experiment, and then I'll show you what else i got growing. So this is the size of the lettuce. Put my finger there so you can see. It's grown pretty well. It's not very big. And the color is kind of a real kind of lightish green with maybe a little yellow in there. I'm not sure what's going on there. 
But the lettuce I did start at the same time in the vertical hydroponic system is growing really, really well. You can see how much larger the leaves are. Uh, they both taste good, um, but I think this is going to obviously produce quite a bit more. So I started some seeds at different times for this is all romaine variety. And uh, some of the plantings didn't do quite so well. Uh, I did some transplanting. So I've adopted a new style of starting my seeds. And what I'm doing is just dropping the lettuce seeds in here, like two or three at a time. And they are all starting to grow right in the perlite. So I'm not using any extra materials. I'm not using rock wool. I'm not using... Um, the what was that sure to grow cubes not using any of that and I'm just dropping them straight in the perlite uh, another thing you'll notice is the moss loves it out here it's got high nutrient content and uh, it's just loving it in here I've got the butter crisp ignore the spinach uh, these are all butter crisp seeds that I did the the same maneuver to and uh, they're all just everything's starting to grow just sprinkling it on or in uh, the perlite itself. I've got little teeny arugulas. I don't know if you can see in there. I'm sure in my next video they'll be much larger. The strawberries haven't done much yet. I think they're just starting to wake up and get going here, but I've got about three or four that have seemed to have survived out of this tube of eight and are starting to actually put on leaves. Like here's another one. I don't know if you can see it or not. If I move my finger. So, yeah, they're really small. We've got savory, we've got thyme. Pretty much everything is starting to grow just from the seed. Now over here you'll see uh, the sugar snap peas. I did two full tubes of them, and they're all growing. This top tube didn't come out, so I put another seed in, and it's already sprouted. It's starting to grow. But uh, these all seem pretty happy in here. They're growing pretty rapidly now, uh, once they've bloomed out. In these two tubes, I've just recently planted beans. So I'm going to have several different varieties of green beans. And I did check on, on the seeds here, and they have begun to germinate as well. I don't know if you can see. Now we're starting to lose it. But right there is uh, a little root that's coming up. And uh, so everything's growing pretty well in the vertical system. I just topped off the water reservoir and adjusted the pH levels and put in some more uh, fertilizer from ChemGrow that I've shown in an earlier video. But uh, everything's growing really well in here. It has gotten warm in here. I've got the four vents and you can see they're starting to open already because it's getting a little warm today. But um, the vents have kept the temperature down uh, at the most it's been over a hundred degrees in here, but most days it's been around 80-90. Uh, but it's still early yet, so I may end up having to maybe mount a fan up on the, the rafters there somewhere and kind of blow, circulate some more air, because I think it's it might end up getting a little too hot in here. We haven't done anything yet with the hanging pots, but we're going to be putting some cucumbers and cherry tomatoes and those sorts of things in there soon. Anyway, that's the quick update, and we'll see you later.